A word for our listeners. Octung Cthulhu is set in the 1930s and 40s. We will be using terms and sayings from those times, including some that could be considered offensive. It is not our intention to offend. We merely wish to offer as accurate a view of the time period as possible. Welcome to Masks of Nyarlathotep, a Nerds Domain Gaming Podcast. Join us each week as our investigators uncover the corruption of the mythos in World War II. Starring George Chimbles, Phil Durham, Rob Walker, Justin Kimmett, Shirley Nedzwicky, and Scott Troiano. With Matt Quiet running the table as the keeper. Eldritch evils and crazed Nazi cultists await you just beyond this music. Hi everybody and welcome back to the Nerds Main Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. I'm Matt and I'm here with Jesse. Howdy. Rob. Having a good time. Phil. <laughs> mort, mort, mort. <laughs> George. Howdy. John. Bonjour. And Jesse. George. Sure, God. Hello. <laughs> Howdy. Wait, you should have a bigger question there, Shirley, about yeah. what that was. I, I hope you know I was going to say hi when you said no, her name I and you said exactly my name that threw me off. Because every time that you guys are getting he, he, he would Jesse. say Jesse right. in the past, I would say something, and then every time he would say I, Shirley, Jesse. I'm glad I was that she went there not where you also, went, And he threw me off yeah. by saying my name instead of yours. So. <laughs> they just totally passed by that. I'm glad I, we're not going to examine that. <laughs> I want to examine it deeply. I think there's there's <laughs> ample ground to be covered here. Oh Whatever Shirley, Matt has fantasies so about. I mean, Jesse, I mean, Shirley, who am I talking to? God. Okay, so so to recap, uh, <laughs> October is insane. <laughs> Whoa. Look at her Wait, name. what? I don't know if I'd say. Well, yeah, what's October? Old one. Okay, I was like, I Uncle, just wanted to make sure I that an saying? innocent shopkeeper didn't Un- get Uncle murdered Professor because October. of things I've done in Uncle the past. Professor October. Uncle Professor October. So last time on the there's some there's some masks out of them. Um, so last time on masks, we uh, did some espionage work in Vienna to make sure that yep there was espionage work. You're so generous in calling that espionage. We walked by a house, walked <laughs> look guys to a store. <laughs> the spy game is not it's all not all glitz and glam like uh, gave ninety. Right, smart, some glorious shop. all the time. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> some guys are in a store, some other people getting some tasty drinks. All right, so you guys arrive at the cafe. Everything seems to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you at the cafe? I've been there. Then why'd you push the mic back? Because I was done talking at that point. <laughs> you missed your opportunity. I was finished. Podcast Matt, done. Matt, I just wanted to make note. That my notes are charging. No. So I don't have my notes currently. Okay. <laughs> Good. So you uh, you find yourself at the cafe. Um, who all? It was Carlos and Gruben, Evie. Evie and Gruben. What is Garnier? Fournier. 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 <laughs> Just remember fornicate. Aster. Ass. Except that. Oh wait, no. Yeah. Aster. So Aster, Aster. Carlos, and. Lightning God. Evelyn all uh, arrive at the cafe. You guys take seats. Um, it's not a huge cafe, but it is it is nicely appointed. It seems busier than what you would expect with how many people are out on the streets. Um, um, uh, where does uh, Fournier sit? I don't know. Where does Fournier sit? Um, it's not rocket science. You know, it's yeah, espionage. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. How, what is the what is the layout? Back you want to the your wall. Tables with some chairs. Street. You want your back to the window. No, back oh, to the obvious. wall. Actually, yeah, the yeah, yeah, to the window, to the wall. Right. I, I want. I want a clear don't view. Don't start me on that because I will do it. All I, the females crawl. I want a clear view of. <laughs> Look, I'm really, I'm trying really to tired. It's here. fine. This you're you're working. doing great. You keep talking. God Almighty. I want a clear view of the bathroom, all right? <laughs> Piss off, you assholes. <laughs> no, I want a clear view of the... Well, he was the, really interested in how in your in your 
bathroom. This is an habits. interesting character choice, and I would like to see how it pans out. <laughs> right, it, but I don't get an opportunity to do that. Go for it. Being assholes. Go, go. <laughs> if we all stopped talking when people were being assholes, we wouldn't talk when you started talking. <laughs> skeet, skeet. Good point. <laughs> say skeet, skeet. Um, let's go ahead and put myself so I can see the club or see the the club. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done. So, so you, wherever he sits, I'm going to order us up. Uh, are you going to sit with him? Yeah, but I'm going to order up some of these. Uh, <laughs> Do you get up and move when he sits with you? <laughs> I have two. Is there a bar or is there a waiter? There's a waiter. Okay. So do you Okay, I, when he gets up, yeah, I'll, I'll be like, well, that's not suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> you have to risk. Are you just going to walk away? Trying to be neighborly. <laughs> Where are you? If I'm sitting with a clear view of the cafe, I'm talking in Spanish. If I'm sitting with a clear view of the cafe, where are you sitting in relation to me? And what does that cause? It causes an obstruction of view. You're a big man. You're taller than I am. You can <laughs> see over my head. Do you have good eyesight? That's not a stat. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I look confused. <laughs> Evelyn, where do you sit? Um, I sit with my back to the street. Okay. You pull out a book. My sketchbook. Okay. I fly down the waiter and order a uh, zwei eins whatever's chocolate thingy. What's your German? 26. Can you Mine's roll? Mine's a 52. Can you roll your German? Would you like me to order that for you? <laughs> Did you sit with me? I sat down at the first he... table that you guys sat at. I'm hoping he fails so that I can make I him do. do it. Did you guys get up and move? I'll, I'll let you succeed on that if you want to do that, you know, in, in a German voice. Oh, I don't need to be <laughs> encouraged to do that. I'll just do that. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll be having zwei, eins... Yeah, so drinking the ice treats have a chocolate and with Zana, yeah, <laughs> with cafe, sure. Um, the waiter goes back <laughs> to the kitchen or to the to the bar to to get make your drinks. Um, you're there, let's say twenty minutes when um Brian or I'm sorry when. Yeah, Brian, would you enter first or would um, Augustus? I'd send Augustus first. Okay. Augustus comes in, and then a couple minutes later, Brian follows behind. Wait, hold on a sec. Mm-hmm. So when the waiter arrives with the uh, with a drink, I'm going to hold it up and say, in German, I thought since we didn't talk much on the train, we could get to know each other now and hold up the glass for a cheers. To me? Yeah. <laughs> it's a waiter? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Why do you look so disappointed by that? <laughs> Good Lord. I said waiter like 10 times, and I, you're like, is it a waiter? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Trying to my train of thought. <laughs> trying to get into character. It's late. I've got a headache. Um, did you say try to get better character? <laughs> No, you're trying to get into character. I'm trying my <laughs> hardest, and it just keeps not working. Um, so I'll, I'm not going to smile at it, but I'll, I'll tap to Carlos and drink some of my coffee. Right, I'll drink, and then he won't actually say anything if you don't. Yeah, I don't say okay. anything. Then yeah, then just sit quietly. Okay, that's awkward. <laughs> Again, twenty oh, minutes later, um, Augustus walks in. A couple minutes after that, Blake walks in. Um, Augustus, where do you go when you walk in? So those two are sitting together? Yeah, I assume all three of you are sitting together, right? If they moved, I just stayed in the same place. No, they're all three <laughs> sitting together. I'm going to look around for Wheeler. Weber? Weber. I'm going to look around for Weber. <laughs> for what? Wheeler, you know the Captain Planet guy? Oh. I thought it was the Wheelies. I thought he said Wheelick. No, that was from the um, second Oz film. The best Oz film. And does anybody in here seem... 
just kind of out of place besides the, the obvious people sitting at the table. Besides that table, everybody else seems pretty okay. Um, Is Weber anywhere in sight? Yeah, he's the waiter. <laughs> are you going to sit with the three of them, or are you sitting yeah, somewhere else? I'll sit with him. Does okay. it seem busier than normal for him? No, it seems a little light. It's about, it's not as bad as you've seen the streets, but it's a little lighter than you would expect. It's usually pretty busy. Like, hard to find a seat busy. Like, you sit with other people you don't know busy. Is there a a back room to this cafe? Uh, most shops have back rooms. Uh, but uh, when you sit down... We're all out of sacks of cash. <laughs> <laughs> when you sit down, the uh, waiter brings over a, a coffee without you ordering it. And unlike with the others, he sets down a napkin first. And then sets the coffee on top of it and then walks back to the kitchen. Now, you're a terrible spy. So what you're going to do is take the napkin, wipe your hands off, and toss it behind you, right? <laughs> right? Exactly. Don't, big don't, bag of money and go ahead and just Don't give him that idea because now he will do it. <laughs> I was just trying to save somebody's life. Anyway, I, I will look at the yeah. paper doll. The napkin? The napkin. Sorry, we're in a fancy establishment. I'll look at the napkin then. Quick digression here because, um, you know, when they're, you know, asking and, and going through, you know, running down all these different shopkeeps and uh-huh. then going after the people that work at these and then they're like going to this poor girl's room and like, oh, you worked at the shopkeep with this like weirdo. Hmm, is there anything suspicious? Oh, you've got a satchel full of 90 grand. That's not spy stuff. Come with us to this van and the rubber hoses within. Oh, what this was the <laughs> this was the shopkeep that we freaking arrested and took to Innsbruck. We're all part of the same association, and now all of a sudden you're gone and you closed up shop. Well, let's see. That's not suspicious. And you've all this money. So anyway, <laughs> poor, poor girl. Him, I'm gonna ask him what he did at the shop. I uh, fired my associate. What does that mean? I gave her a severance pay and told her that it would be best if she left the country and said as little as she could. Oh, great. So the napkin. So the napkin. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to take the napkin. Um, Are you taking the napkin? Yeah, I'm going to take it and slide it and then kind of like just flip it open in front of myself and uh, Fournier. Have you, did you read it before he took it? Yes. Okay. So the napkin says, Ehrlichman is dead. His uh, fiance is looking for help. Is this in German? Yes. Do I need a roll or is it pretty much? You can be, uh, there's nothing yeah. complex here. Well, guys, our job's done. Oh, boy. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm going to stab him in the leg of the fork. <laughs> I just start like rubbing my temples and like just giggling softly. <clears throat> <laughs> Ooh. So. They're all sitting at the same table. Yeah, I am most definitely not. At that <laughs> Just because. Not at the high. Thank hi- you. Not at the highly suspicious table. <laughs> Correct. At seeing them all. At seeing them all gathered. Definitely go. That's a little odd. I want to go sit over here. It, even better if there's like somewhere else like, that's outdoor that I can sit in. It's a cafe though. Something. There's people gathered around talking. Well, you know, yeah, know. you can see me very disgruntled. I will wave. No, um, do I know <laughs> Ehrlichman's wife or widow? Beyonce. Um, Fiedo. you've heard of her name before. It's uh, Gisela Waltron. Would I know how to find her? No, but uh, Weber might. So, how do you guys handle this uh, quiet communication here? By napkins. <laughs> Here, do you need to write the return message I on do. this? I do. Okay, I, I gotta check. Yes. Then. Yeah, I pass it back to him. <laughs> Is there like a a bar, or like a seating bar? Um, um, there's not a the... seating bar so much as like a standing. You can order and then you go sit down bar. Where's Weber? Um, moving around the room, being a waiter. Being a waiter. Is there someone else at the bar waiting? Uh, no. When someone comes up to the bar, he goes behind the bar and does his thing and then goes back out. You all, you do see people eating. There's bits of food, so there's got to be a cook or something in in the back. Okay. I'm going to go up to the bar. Okay. I'm going to 
an empty cup. Um, a couple minutes, he, like he sees you and, and waves at you to say, "I'll be there." And then he comes up, and um, hmm. another. Yeah. Um. It's quiet today, huh? Um, not as bad as it has been, uh, but still quieter than it, than it used to be. Is this normal for this time of year? Have you? Where have you been? What's that? Oh. Are you new to town? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Roll your German for me. It's a fitty. That's fine. Roll your German for me. Ninety-two. <laughs> Seventy-six. <laughs> oh wow, close. Um, so, so, what part of uh, Austria are you from? And he goes about making the coffee like there's nothing at all wrong. Um, I don't. What's the town? Southern town. You give him. That's fine. You give him a southern town. town. Oh. Hmm. Well, uh, with um, some of the shops being attacked by the the SS, uh, people are a little less likely to frequent places. Mm. How do you mean attacked? Like, I mean, is it is it? Did you just come into town? Yeah, we've not been in not been long. Um, there were some shop owners that were beaten and drug and drug away from their shops. There were others that were, that were just beaten and left. Which what kind of shops? Um, a multitude of different kinds. Nothing in particular. No, no. Hmm. Weird. Uh, several of them were owned by Jews. Oh, that's that's to be expected with the Germans, from what we've heard. Um. Because then that's common knowledge at this point. That yeah. That's starting right. to take place, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask him kind of like nonchalantly where to find what's her face. Why, like, why would you be looking for, um, not Mademoiselle, Fräulein Waltron? Oh, she's a, she's a friend of my friends over here. We're supposed to visit her this evening. And How do you know? How do you know him? Uh, we've been associates for a while. Hmm. It's funny he hadn't mentioned you. We were, you know, we're out in the art art market and shared some pieces back and forth, and we've kept over correspondence. If uh, if your interest is to speak with fr- the Fräulein, fr- mm-hmm. fr- fr- whatever. Fräulein. Thank you. Um, I'm sure that she can be made aware of your presence here. She could come here. Excellent. She's supposed to have a, a really beautiful piece in her gallery. I'd like to see. Sure. He he doesn't buy any of that. I like, could persuade kind of all that. You can. I mean, I pointed. I pointed yeah, at yeah. thirty-six under seventy-five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, give me a pers- uh, psychology. So, um, yeah, he, he hands you your cup, cup of coffee. Would you like to meet her today? Um, let me talk to my associates. We'll check with you before we leave. Okay. Let Mr. October know, which is you know is not his. Right, alias. Alias. Let Mr. October know that she would want to meet with just one of you. Gotcha. And then he goes back to what he's doing. Okay. So I'll go back to the table and kind of relay the information. Okay. You can ask them when they want to meet. So, she only wants to meet with one of us. Who's I mean, we're not going to move only one. One person can go in and do the meeting, but that's that doesn't seem the best idea to me. As long as the rest of us are around... As long as we have a good plan. I mean, that's really the, the key here. And next time, don't write notes on a napkin, please. He started it. <laughs> Just giving you a note. Do you think you should, or one of you should, do your you know, spy thing? Go check it out before we meet with her. I think we're meeting here. How long? Are we waiting here all day? No. Um, we'll, we'll find a different location, somewhere that's neutral, mm. and say, um, I mean, ideally, we don't want to be 
at the same location here. We don't want to be, we don't, we don't want to be associated with Weber either. We want to try to move away from that because unfortunately we are not we're, we're going to be noticeable. So um, the best thing is to kind of dissociate from that so he's not in danger himself. Let's uh do you know like a local park or something that's fairly quiet? There is an appointment later. There is and a park. Quite a few parks. <laughs> we don't around. know that yet because Blake hasn't come to meet us. Don't matter. There, there's <laughs> quite a few parks. There's a park nearby. Okay. But it would probably be a place of her choosing. She's the one entrusting us with the information. She's the one who's going to be concerned for her safety. Has anyone finished their drink yet? Uh, I've, I've actually gone through like three. Sipping my oh my gosh. Really? Yeah. So you're hopped up on sugar and caffeine now? He's yeah, because these the are wall. these are heavy in both. They're delicious, right? <laughs> if you have a taste for sweets, yeah, I do. Okay, then yes, <laughs> they're amazing. Yeah, I'm bombing these bad boys. <laughs> now they are exceptionally hot as well, so it's Good. like a it's like hot chocolate and coffee mixed together is what it really boils down to. Uh, boils down to coffee <laughs> boils. <laughs> so wow, got none of you like my drink. Joke. We need to set up the set up a time and place. Quietly and inconspicuously. I mean, like, go uh, get one more drink. We'll finish our, our last drinks and we'll go. I think Carlos has had enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> I think I'm fine with what I have. Look, I'm under a lot of stress right now. Because you don't speak German? No, I'm saying this in German. Oh. <laughs> I'm just looking at a uh, Professor October. <laughs> <laughs> Smiling slightly. <laughs> okay, so are you was one who's going to go up and give Weber the information? Well, I've already been up to order another drink. It'll look fishy if I go back up. So, oh, we need someone to finish their drink. You're the le- least uh, suspicious one I of us, and you speak German. And you speak German. <laughs> I'll go get some water. <clears throat> Oops, you spilt your drink. I uh, no. <laughs> okay. So not only are you like spilling coffee on her after you tried to sell her off as a hooker in the boat before. Way to go. Oh, I forgot We're all trying about to figure that. forget about that. <laughs> oh my Oh, I've Whoa. been thinking about that all night. <laughs> I'm sorry, how could you forget human trafficking? Oh, right? I forgot it all worked, about didn't it? that. I basically assume that he's been purposely sending us on bad missions. <laughs> In order to get us, in order to get her killed, <laughs> so that she doesn't come home and uh, embarrass him. With doesn't his doesn't come and yell at him. Um, so I go up and mm. wait for him can and relay the information. Can you roll espionage for me? I don't have espionage. Wow, get grumpy. You can still roll. You can get a natural one. It's I'm worth gonna, a shot. I'm gonna watch her as she goes. I'm gonna watch like what, how she's doing. There and what she's doing. she goes. I'm gonna go look back over my she goes um, again. shoulder and wink at you. <laughs> <laughs> I need more of these. Fifty-one. Uh, over one. Oh, good whatever night. it is, <laughs> it's Maybe alphabetical. You tell me. Oh shoot, I got thirty. <laughs> oh, but I still got fifty-one. Okay. Um, so, what do you say to him? I say what they told me to say to him. Which is? What did you tell me to say to him? Meet him in the park. In the, meet her in the park in the evening. See if that's an appropriate location. I See covertly can... say we'll meet her in the park. Or you attempt to covertly say. Who is going to meet her? Mr. October. Mr. October will meet. Which you know is not. Is his, his cover name is not October. Do you give the real name or his cover name? I'm asking. That's did you indicate that he said October? Yes. Yes. I say October. Okay. You'll meet him at, uh, she'll meet at the park, or he'll meet her at the park when? Yes. Time. How many people are up there? Six is the time. Six. Okay. Six. Sounds good. What do you mean up Why where? Why did I go up there? I mean, it's no, it's just her by herself. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> so they didn't, it's not like somebody overheard her say. Right. Oh, no. Good, good. Okay. <laughs> I would have waited until everyone was gone. So by all, not by, that the, stupid. by the time all of this shenanigans is done, it's probably been about an hour, Brian. Between travel time and this. 
<laughs> yes, I believe I was at the next rendezvous to two hours. Right, so you got about an hour. I, what are we doing? Well, I guess what the question is, what are we doing from here? I just kind of watched their shenanigans in the cafe. Right. Um, do we have an established place that we're staying while we're in Vienna? No, not yet. I have a house. I would assume, actually, that you guys set up um, some sort of hotel at this yeah, point because you're would've. traveling with bags and such. So that's fine. Um, I would go towards the hotel. Okay. Um, what about the rest of you four? Where's the park? Um, It's probably a 20-minute walk out. Well, if you went directly there, it's probably a 20-minute walk outside of your way to go back to the hotel. I'm going to ask Carlos if he'll join me walking to the park. Okay. What time is it now? A noonish. Oh, six hours. One-ish. I mean, you guys probably ate lunch at the cafe, too. I'll, so I will straggle behind them because I want to sketch some of the um, surroundings. and. Okay. What about you, Mr. October? I'm going to go Park to the bookstore. Okay. The unnamed bookstore. Okay. We'll call it the corner. Yes, the corner. Uh, all right, so... The book nook. We'll stick with you, Mr. October. You, you, you go to the bookstore. What are you doing there? Um, just... Perusing is uh, the main guy there. I don't have my notes. Was it Pietro? Was that? No, that wasn't. Pietro Maximoff. Who was the like, guy that runs the... It, is the guy who runs the store actually there at the moment? Yes, he's the only one that works there. When I walk in, does he acknowledge? Does yeah, he, he, he acknowledges you that you have arrived. Says, good evening, Mr. Storm Heimenberg. It's been a while. You got anything uh, new in? Mm, I bought a, a collection that I still need to go through, but other than that, not really. Anything been going on lately? I've noticed uh, my uh, my shop hadn't been getting as much uh, patronage as it has since I've came back. So yeah, um, there was some unrest with some of the shop owners and there there were examples made so the the street traffic has been really low even lower than normal for me oh really yeah well it's a shame any of the uh the other uh regulars come in i'm going going to name some of the people from the the sphinx club He's not a member um, of the Sphinx Club, right? No, he is not, so but he's probably familiar with them. I'm pretty um, sure that this is the store. Yeah, um, yeah, I've seen a couple of them, but most of them avoid my shop or, I, or have been avoiding my shop for a while. Have they? Yeah. That's a shame. Well, when they think that they know better than me about what my books are worth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I understand that, unfortunately. Well, good seeing you again. Yep. Okay. You guys walk by the park. You just checking it out. I'm going to talk to Carlos in Spanish when there's no one around. Okay. Just I'm going to go it. sit on a bench and sketch. Oh, are you following the two people going to the park? Uh, you said I you said straggle behind. behind. I didn't know if you were behind. Okay. That's, yes. that's fine. When I didn't realize you were still with them. I thought you were by yourself by yourself. No. Okay. Um, just okay. kind of like... I mean, I don't keep up keep up with them but i don't like let them out of my sight okay it would be like um idle chatter for a bit until we uh we know that there's no one around we can't see anyone around us okay and then i'll be like we need to watch some of our co associates and make sure that they're conversing with the group before they make decisions and make sure that we're on the same page with how we need to proceed forward because some of the actions they're taking seems a little irregular to me like who um the Octobers. Sure. I just want to make sure that we're watching our, our trail and watching our backs. I don't want to see us get jumped or hurt for some, for no reason. The older one seems to be making some interesting choices. Yeah, I agree. I don't think out of any sort of... Uh, well, we're not all as practiced at this as perhaps you are. That's all right. That's why I'm here. Yep. Um, same time we're kind of like scoping out path in and out. Right, 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 right. right. The, uh, the park is actually kind of an open. 
right park uh it's called the white uh we're still prater prater or still pretzel? Never remember that. Whatever. Anyway, um, it's, it, it. it's a large enough park. Um, areas for like picnics. There's also a Ferris wheel, which is kind of a big deal. Um, some that's vendors. Where, that's where we gotta have the meeting, man. Uh, in the in the. Ferris she just wheel. wants one other person. You right. know how many cars a Ferris wheel seats? Seventeen. Two. Oh shoot. Two. I mean, two people in a car. Yes. Uh. Um, so yes. yeah, I mean, there's, there's quite a bit of, there's quite a bit of space, but it's also very open. There's some trees here right. and there, but it's not, it, you're going to be able to see what's going on. Right. We don't want, we don't want places. them to meet in a spot where they can either be targeted easily. So we want to have a good observation. Right. And we also don't want to have a spot where they're going to look conspicuous. Right. So if it's a, an, an elderly couple that's going out on a date, right. a right. courtship or something, we'll be fine. Elderly couple. I like how you get called old. The old Professor Uncle guy? Yeah, Professor Uncle. How old is Uncle Professor? 42. Which, according to Jesse's rules 42. of age, he it's is decrepit. ancient. It's like a senior. The, the ancient one was in his 70s when I said he was old. No, he wasn't. He was no. He was 55. Yeah. Was he? Oh, well. Yeah, he was like in his 50s. <laughs> That's old. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so, oh my God. So well, even in your forties, though, at that point, unless yeah. he's widowed, then it's abnormal. Unless she's widowed, and and he's yeah. what's the male term for that? There's a male term for that. I don't remember. But widower, widower. widow, and widower. Yeah, yeah. Lucky. So then, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my ex-wife. <laughs> um, so there might be some of that taking place there, but otherwise, okay. it's not. That's an older age at this right. time still. So you guys uh, are going. Are you going back to the hotel from there? Yeah, so we can kind of like come up okay. with a plan. We need to get picnic things. Okay, are you going back to the hotel as, as well, Jesse? The uh, the Sphinx Club. Do I know wh- where do we normally meet at? The Is Sphinx there... Club. Oh, it's actually a Sphinx Club. Yeah, I said I'll, this earlier. I'll swing by the Sphinx Club. Okay. Um, we'll Why come are you back doing to you by yourself. <laughs> yeah, we'll come back to you. Because Nobody, no one is stopping. Are you trying no to like one. start a new record for like having a crew to last a game? Nobody came with me. It's not my fault. Wow. <laughs> you didn't ask Johnny. anyone. My God. Look, Johnny, he's using your line. Um, uh, <laughs> he's going to be not well. <laughs> attacking people with a chair. No, at worked out re- you didn't die? The last time I went solo, I got slaughtered by Yet. a werewolf. Johnny, but did you die? <laughs> no, not <laughs> Right away. Again, but also pointing out that in this game, when if you die, that's getting off easy. <laughs> that's fair. You could go insane. You also did that. <laughs> Only because the dice didn't roll R- higher. Yeah. <laughs> um, so about the time that Carlos and Aster and Evelyn are arriving at the hotel, Brian, it is about time for you to go out, out if you're going to make that meeting. Are you informing anyone else about your meeting? <laughs> do oh, I do see it. on my way out? Yeah. I've made a contact with um, someone I've worked with in the past. Um, Anyone is welcome to come with me if you'd like. What are they doing here? They say they're here to help. I need to see if this is, is true or not. Oh, good. Let's how, do this. How much do you trust this contact? Not at all yet. A, a smidge more than you. A lot then. I'll go with you. Okay. Very well. This is just the two of you? Perfect. All right, you guys uh, meet. Uh, hey, look, it's that same park you just came from. <laughs> it's a Seriously? very popular park. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> popular park. This is where all the spies meet. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> When you get your brochure of uh, spies in Vienna, like this is the first place mentioned. No, uh, but it is a very popular park and it's very centralized, so yeah. it makes sense. I'm gonna, uh, as we're walking, I'll, I'll you know, be fill, f- filling in blank with you know that. Wait, we're going to this park. Well, we've planned to meet with so and so there. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Well, we checked it out, and here's the layout. Blah blah blah. Right. Excellent. Okay. There's so a I, Ferris wheel. I assume you set yourself up somewhere where your giant spot hidden is gonna come in <laughs> real handy. Um, so that if anything goes wrong, the top of the Ferris wheel. Oh, you're gonna. Yes, are you? <laughs> are you directly accompanying me, or are you observing from a distance? I'm gonna give the operator like five bucks to just stop the car at the top, <laughs> <laughs> so I can just see everything from up there. Um, do you want me to come up with you 
and converse with this individual, or would you prefer me to uh, watch from afar? I I understand what difficulty this puts the party in, and so if you are more comfortable directly directly conversing, I'm okay with that. What I think might be safer is if you have my back from a short distance. We'll do that. I will. Uh, there's a tree over in this spot, and I'll go and um, get a newspaper and a cigarette and uh, hang out by the tree where I can watch you from from a distance. Yeah. Are you, are you going to poke out two little eye holes so that way you can? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I take my switchblade and do that. But yeah, basically, so I mean, there should be a newsstand or something. Yeah, so oh yeah, I was yeah. going to bust out a sheet you know, of slate and just, just go look like I'm enjo- enjoying a day at the park over by this tree, and okay. I'll head out in front of him okay. and, and stake out. <laughs> um, Johnny, I assume Grave uh, arrives on time or early. A little early. He's okay. uh, taking up uh, a spot on a bench. Okay. With a bag of popcorn, feeding some pigeons and squirrels. Right on. Uh, this v- is the best park ever. Viennese, <laughs> Viennese uh, pigeons are, are exceptionally like feisty. Oh, you're you are ancient. super old. <laughs> I'm so he's like basically dust, right? Like Europe. as he walks, yes, like little old. puffs come out, and he's about right. to dissolve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. That's exactly. Yeah. Um, you uh, you sit there and you see Blake coming towards you. Um, you just sit down next to him. I assume. Yeah. With he's not wearing any clothing. Like, Father, no, 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 no. Priest attire. <laughs> no, no. <Yeah. laughs> you know he's in full black with the collar, everything. You, you know. No, no. He's he's dressed. Just making absolutely sure. His his um, if you would notice, his fashion is probably Italian. I would assume. Well, it's simple Italian. Yeah. Button up shirt. Yeah, yeah. Slides, so it's it's obvious that he's coat. not Austrian, yeah. but but. Uh, <laughs> Tracksuit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> tracksuits are great. Um, yeah, go ahead. I forgot. When you previously introduced yourself, did, did you say that you were a father? I did not because there were people around. Good afternoon, friend. Mr. Gruber? Um, can you tell me what you observed within the shop? There were. Oh, you pr- you probably saw like the the girl behind the counter, and you came in. He was talking to her for a moment and straightening things, and then you left. That was it. It wasn't. Yeah. You know. Am I close enough if I pass a listen check to hear them? Uh, yeah. No, not really. Okay, They're cool. talking not in hushed tones, but not in. It's not carrying yeah, very well. Cool. <laughs> um. So none of. Like the excited leaving with giant bag of money. No. I saw the woman leave with the giant bag, but I assumed that was some sort of business with the shop. The the gentleman you saw um, is a associate of mine in the work that we're doing right now. I am aware of Mr. October's presence well what what else can you tell me that you know of our party i know that you are i i mean there's no one around right like right right the closest person is some spaniard that you recognize yeah um i mean picture was in the dossier well i don't know if you know this like literally half of his face is burned i did not so it's hard for him to it's not like he's just some dude that might be a spaniard i don't know no it's like Hey, look at that dude the, with the burn marks. Yeah. yeah. Um, so he's defined by his burn marks. Very. Um, but you see him, he's about the closest, and there's no way he can hear you. Okay. Um I know that you've been working with British intelligence, see, uh dealing with matters most people would not want to even begin to know of their existence supernatural occurrences even and uh, we've I've recently heard rumors of a name in Germany 
working with the Nazis, Wilkerson. So, was it my old character? This was my new character who was seeing the dossier, but I don't know if my new character was running into Wilkerson. Blake ran into Wil- Wilkerson the night that Carlos burned down the house. Oh, oh. Was he there? He was at, I believe he was oh. at that party, oh, yes. Okay. If not, his wife was, but well, I believe yeah. he was too. <laughs> I remember that part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, even if he wasn't, I'm almost positive he was. Even if he wasn't, he was mentioned. Okay. Yes, uh, I'm familiar with uh, Wilkerson, unfortunately. He's tied up in something dark. Yes. And it has been suggested that this is an, a, a uh, matter you should deal with. And you're tasked with helping me in this endeavor? I'm to be your handler. You go between between the church and um, whatever, the, whatever. Basically, I'm here to help you in any way I can. But not necessarily to accompany uh, myself. My years in the field are um, have been long and are probably best behind me, but like I said, I'm here to do what I can. So uh, real real quick, um, if you had to guess looking at him, he's probably in his mid to late 60s. What? He No, no, no. Oh. He looks rough. He looks like he's seen things. And you can't tell if it's because he actually is that age or if he's just... Like, his voice and his mind seem sharp, which, you know, as you get older, they, they you start to lose that sharpness. He he speaks with the confidence of a younger man than what he looks like. So you can't tell if it's just he has taken a, a beating physically over the years and, and that's why he looks rough or if it's if he's actually very old. But he does not... Even though he is 56, which you heard, he doesn't look 56 at this point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Do you know where Wilkerson is right now? I know rumors of where he is right now. Please do tell. Um, Germ- I mean, Germany. Uh, he, he spends his time. He was spending his time before war was declared, traveling between Germany and England. Because technically he's still a British lord, um, but now that war has been declared, you know that he hasn't come back. Like that, that would have been something you would have been aware of. But he hasn't come back to England. To England, um, but whether it's Dresden or Berlin or somewhere, he's he's moving along among the elites of Ber- of Germany. Do you have any leads on how I can find where he is? A few. Can you? <laughs> I I cannot because literally that's the end of my paragraph. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, so just just as a player, I'm like, okay, he's my handler. He's supposed to kind of give me what it is I'm supposed to do next, and so I'm trying. No, no, that's fine. To figure out what that is. I'm with you. I, I, I'm with you. So he, I didn't. I got. I got. Um. So what he's asking you to do is. Keep an eye out for opportunities to move that direction. If you can move the group that direction, do so. If there are other things that you can do that are not that, do them. Like, you know, if you're going to fight someone else, like, that's fine. As If you're fighting the mythos, that's your primary goal. If Wilkerson becomes an option or an opportunity, take it and Got push it. the group towards it as best you can. Got it. And that's essentially what your, what your orders are right now. And... Um, he gives you a contact in um, Vatican City that you should be able to get to things to. Even if he's not there, you should be able to get things to that person. So we make arrangements that we can keep in contact as well as yeah. other person. Okay. Um, and he will will not be in the field with you, but he will try and be close for support, as close as possible. Which maybe he's in Vatican City while you're in Germany. That may be as close as he can get. But if you go to like the Pacific. He may move that direction with you. Okay. Sounds good. But in the meantime, if there's any assistance I can be in your current uh, situation, please let me know. Very good. Is there anything I can do for you or the church while I'm here today? 
I don't have anything specific. Well, then. Oh. <clears throat> it does say that it is best at this point in time that you cease and desist your regular attendance of any church in what would be considered hostile territory. Well, then. <clears throat> May God bless you. And you, my son. Um, so then. Uh, I'll make the first move and kind of get up and Kay. walk in the not towards the hotel and okay. not towards uh, Carlos but not like directly away from either just okay. kind of at a 90 degree angle kind okay. of towards a reasonable exit that's in that direction so I'm not gonna, like walking around are you going to circle back to the hotel eventually I'm going to kind of assume that Carlos is going to make some sort yeah. of move to meet yeah. up with me so I'd say 10 minutes go by before you guys meet up on the street on the way back to the hotel in a very circuitous route something you would probably planned out beforehand how'd it go less well than i had hoped um he seems genuine um he had some information to to offer which was primarily that um you recall wilkerson yes he he's still in germany okay so beyond that you know, it's more, I guess, catching up on, on old times. What was your relationship with this man? <clears throat> he was uh, someone in the church that I, when I, when I grew up uh, in, like, Irish or Scottish? You're Irish. Irish. In Ireland. Can you roll persuade on that? I'm pretty sure that's a fail. Let's see. Order, but we still can't find her. Oh, yeah. It's a fail. Okay. Yeah, he, d- I mean, it, that doesn't seem, that seems a little shaky. What How he did just he end said. up in Austria? The church moves people all around all over the place. Well, that ain't a lie. <laughs> <laughs> and he's involved in our uh, intelligence services. In our business, the the church keeps an eye on um, matters yeah. of the of of the world. No, it does. Would George's character have been close enough to hear an accent? Uh, yeah, you could roll. Um, listen for that. That'd be fine. I could. Yeah, I can get behind that. Fail. Okay. Yeah, you could hear. You could. You couldn't overhear the conversation enough to really pick up what was being said. Yeah. I guess how it was being said. Whatever. It doesn't matter. But he's involved in our business. He's a... uh... The church um, certainly fights against evil. So, Well, I mean, I wouldn't put too fine a point on that my country they were great allies of evil I believe that I fight for the good I believe that this man fights for the good I, I believe that you do as well and uh, but much as we all have to watch our back in many things uh, I've seen a great number of the clergy who are uh, very much in league with the fascists so be wary So Blake will take a deliberate pause mm-hmm. as if to seriously consider Carlos's words and say, I will. And if you'll help keep me in check, I've been in the church all my life. That wouldn't hurt. I, under- a ball. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the pull of religion. Even lapsed Catholics still have something lingering about it. Shall we rejoin our party? Yes. All right. So some time goes by. We're not going to touch the Sphinx room tonight. I have changed my mind. I'm going to the motel anyway. I've had time to think hotel. about what I was going to do. The motel. motel. This is a hotel, nice hotel. Motel, It's all the same. Um, Why do you... Never mind. So are you guys all going to this meeting? Well, I mean, yeah. Ish. Good God. 
<laughs> Some of us are having a picnic uh, adjacent to the meeting. That's fine. I mean, but you're all going to be in the park, I assume. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. At the periphery. Okay. Yeah, you two, uh, Aster. Yeah, it's a yes. Okay. I'm and not like, literally, like, I've gotten a blanket and some, like, deli meats. Oh, and, yeah, that's you know, fine. Thermos, that's fine. all that kind of stuff. What about sausages? So, so all of yeah. that talk about pastries and you're not taking pastries? Yeah. Oh, I got some pastries. I would, oh, like okay. to, I would like to follow up on that. What kind of pastries? Well, here's the thing is you can buy the sausages. You can buy the blankets. You can get all the advance. You know, the pastries fresh from the store. So you pick those up uh, along the way. That's Carlos says to scout it out because he's been to the park, like, three times now. <laughs> And he's been, like, keeping track. Which one's looked the best? Which one has the best of that? He's actually going to make several stops because he's been eyeballing <laughs> these bad boys as he walks by. And so the ones that have, like, the nice-looking eclairs, he's going to grab one or two of those. I he didn't goes to the next one and grabs some of their little uh, paniers, which are the little elf in the ear things I was trying to talk about. I didn't realize Carlos was a sugar freak. <laughs> he has developed a great taste for... He's a stress eater. <laughs> And is uh, eating um, a lot of sweets and a lot of stimulants in the form of coffee and nicotine. Okay. Um, so you guys arrive at uh, probably 5.55. I would have advised oh. a little bit because oh. I know yeah. you're supposed to have espionage. He does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, we would have talked about like good decision making practices. <laughs> and you know what the right decision is? Yeah, yeah. Have you met Jesse? Right, right. That's why. <laughs> no, no. But his character, yes. I, Carlos would be like, yes. Let's have a talk about some of these things. Yeah, I mean, we would have dialogued at least a little bit. Like, you know, we want to make sure that we're kind of staying low key, as low key as we can be. Okay. We don't want to be drawing attention. You know, even if you went, you know, when you went in and you talked to your girl, you said, "Here's some money, get out." Basically, what you did was offer up a red flag because if the Germans come in and she's a target, have you seen this guy? No, I haven't. Where'd you get ninety grand? Whatever. Hopefully so, she'll be out of the town by then. You would hope so, but you can't guarantee that because you didn't escort her out. Also, so, also, now that you're thinking about it, uh, travel visas are terribly hard to get in the Nazi regime. Jar. True. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, so we would have talked about like ha- having a good plan going in and knowing where to dialogue and to converse. Okay. So you guys arrive at the park. Um, we're going to speed this up just a little bit because I want to yeah. get it in before we go. We'd also like do some prearranged stuff just real quick so it's clear right. to like, you know, like entry, exit points, rendezvous stuff, all that kind of right. crap. So um, you arrive at the at the destination. Um, they, everyone else kind of sets up where they're supposed to be, or newspapers or pastries or whatever they're doing. Picnicking. Um, about five minutes late, a woman very um, fashionably dressed comes walking towards you you recognize her you've met her before um <laughs> it's your assistant she spent all of her money on clothes <laughs> and guns she <laughs> shoots you <laughs> um she walks towards you um immediately kind of gently turns you hooks her arm in yours and w- begins walking you I away will. from the, the location not quickly just smoothly yeah I'll, i will go with her yeah um she takes you to the edge of the park to a cafe, you both sit outside, and she orders um, some some warm food, like some soups, and but like hearty German kind of thing, and then some um, some hot beverages. Are they still in view? From they're they're in view, but they're a little bit far. You're definitely not going to be able to overhear anything. That's fine. Just in view is fine. So, um, Mr. Weber said that. Oh, I'm sorry. Air Weber said that you would be a good man to talk to about my fiance. Yes. First off, I, I'm sorry, and you have my deepest condolences. Ehrlichman was a great guy. I really hate you. I really, really hate you. I'm looking for his first name. I'm sorry. Wow. Aster? No. Aster's coming up. <laughs> Let's go with Bill. <laughs> oh no, I have it here. Hey, Wilhelm Bill. would be German. Winnie. Yeah. So, um, Botho. Botho. Uh, Bo really? Bo was brilliant in what he did, but um, unfortunately, I believe he crossed the wrong people, and I believe that he was killed. It was made to look like an accident, but I'm nearly positive that he was killed. I've seen this before. 
is this in relation to the other shops getting roughed up or was no. this a no. more targeted that that's the ss flexing muscles this there's a group with there are several groups within the regime and one of them is very interested in archaeological findings and Bo had gotten himself a lot of information that for whatever reason they thought was important. We I have come across some uh, telegraphs. Telegraphs, thank you. I was going to say the tappy thing, but yes. Telegraph that uh, mentioned that a doctor was questioned about a uh, missing black stone. He he was questioned. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks ago. I was af- was I was afraid that it was him. So, do you have any of his? Uh, did did they raffle through his? Uh, they stuff, did. Um, he left me clues. Left me clues, not them. I don't know where it's at. I can't decipher them. I don't have the knowledge that I would need for that. Hopefully you or one of your, I assume you brought some people with you. And it's yes. not just you. Hopefully one of them has enough information and knowledge that they can pull us all together or pull this all together. Whatever you find though, assuming it's just his journal on his research is yours, but I need it tied to whoever killed him. So whoever, whoever is at fault for this, I, I want to know who. That's perfectly understandable. She's speaking in a very um, proper German. There's no hint of any kind of uh, improper accent. She sounds like she's probably from Berlin, like originally. So, I will give you the information when we acquire it. Okay. Um, she hands you a piece of paper. This is the note that he left me. Um, there are clues within it, and I need. Uh, if if you would take a look at it, I would appreciate it. I need to know what you would need from me. Can you give us a rough idea of the people who uh, questioned him? They were German, um, part of some sect within the the Reich. Um, did did they have a odd insignia? Like a not that he mentioned, but he said that they were definitely not SS. Were any of them really tall? Did he mention anything out of the ordinary about them? Um, he he described them, and she gives you a description. Okay, it's nobody that you recognize just from the name or from the description. <laughs> oh, all I know is you guys said something about tall people. I've seen tall people, so. When did this happen? When did he... Was he killed? Yes. Uh, three days ago, his body was found um, just off of the road. And when was he last questioned? Two weeks ago, give or take. Do you know if he had any contact with anyone else? Any uh, other shopkeepers? There are other places that you might be able... That, that he may have been in contact with. Um, the Sphinx Reading Club. Um, I know that he was a member of Good Standing there. Um, but I wasn't, I, I trusted my fiance. I didn't follow his every move. Is there any other, uh, members of, uh, dog that are around here? Sorry. What's dog? The, do you point it out? You, you explain it to her. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, they mostly are still in Germany or fled. Is there any way we can get a hold of you if if need? You be? can either leave a note with Max or um, you can drop something by my home, but I will not be there. Just leave something in under the the plant on the on the front porch. She gives you an address. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, that'll do it tonight for the Nerds Name Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. We will talk to you guys real soon. And that will do it for us tonight on the Nerds Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. Remember, you can email us at nerdsdomain at gmail.com or find us on facebook.com forward slash nerdsdomain. On Twitter 
at Nerds Domain or over at our site, nerdsdom.com. Be sure to sign up for the newsletter while you're there. You can head over to iTunes and give us a five-star rating. We want to thank Josh Shop for our music. Don't forget, you can support us at patreon.com forward slash nerds domain. And check out our shirts at slash loot.com. <laughs>